Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Stream Education's LEGO Robotics Educational Video Series. My name is Jay and I'll be your host today as we talk about beams, all pieces, and pegs and how we can use each one of these to create strong structures. The first kind of piece I'd like to talk to you about today is the beam. The beam is the most fundamental, most essential building piece found in the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 environment. It ranges in size between two holes and 15 holes and has holes on one side and is smooth on the other side. Now, beams are important because they are one of the few pieces in the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 environment that are designed to, to hold load and not deform under stress. Now compare this to an axle. An axle under load will very easily bend and can even snap if you bend it enough. A beam on the other hand does not bend so easily. This is the reason why most of our robots and most of our structures are going to be built out of beams. The next kind of piece I'm going to talk about is the L-piece. This is the largest kind of L-piece that you'll find in your EV3 kits. On the other hand, this is the smallest kind of L-piece that you're going to find in your EV3 kits. Slotting just between them is this piece right here. Please note that there are other kinds of L-pieces as well. Take this one and this one for example. Both of these are unique because they form angles that are greater than 90 degrees and are close to 135 degrees. However, notice that this L-piece, while being the same as this one on this side, is longer on this side. L-pieces in general can be used for attaching two pieces together, two beams together, at an angle. If I want to keep these two beams at a 90 degree angle, the best way to do this would be to grab an L-piece, just like so, and connect it just like this. By tying this piece down to this leg of the L-piece, and this beam down to this leg of the L-piece, I can make sure that these two beams will stay in a 90 degree angle. Now, if I wanted to create a different angle, like so, what I can do is I can take this kind of L-piece and put it on just like so, just like last time, except with a different piece. Now, it's important to keep in mind that although it seems like we're rather limited in our angles because we only have 90 degrees and 135 degrees, we can use a combination of these pieces to create more than just those two angles. The final kind of piece that I'd like to talk to you about today, in this video at least, is this peg. This is a black peg. It's the most simple, basic kind of peg available in the EV3 kit. There are many different kinds of pegs, and we'll be releasing a video just for these many different kinds of pegs next week. However, for today, I would like to introduce this piece to you guys. Pegs are useful for connecting beams and L pieces to each other. If you notice, pegs are circular, and they'll go inside the circular holes found inside beams. This is in contrast to the X axle holes that you'll find in certain other kinds of beams and L pieces. Back to this, we can use this peg to attach to one beam, and then put another beam and stick it on just like that. One of the problems that people consistently make is using either too few or too many pegs. Let's take an example. In this instance, if I want to keep these beams straight together, just like this, I'll be needing more than just one peg like I've done here. You can see why, because at this one point of contact, the beams will rotate around. Now, by using one more peg, just like so, I can connect them together, and they'll no longer do this. Note where I've placed these kinds of these pegs. One on each end of the points where I'll be connecting the other beam. Some people go overboard with this by filling in each hole in between with pegs, like so. This is also another mistake because it's using too many pieces is a waste of pieces and ultimately makes your robot more heavy and more complex than it needs to be. Please. Whenever you make any kind of contact that does not need to rotate, use two pegs. By having these two points of contact, you'll ensure that you create a strong structure. The same rules apply when using L pieces. For L pieces, if I want to connect two pieces together, what I'd want to do is I'd want to go ahead and put on the pegs, like so. at the furthest points from which they'll connect to the L piece. 
like so. I've used the peg here, 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 and here. And by doing this, this doesn't rotate, doesn't deform easily, and is relatively strong. This is Jay from Stream Education signing off till next week. I hope you guys enjoyed my video about beams, L pieces, and pegs, and how we can use them to create stronger structures. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and to share with your friends. Thanks so much.